So we're going to lighten the mood a little bit now with uh, Marsha Wood. Uh, Adrian, <laughs> can you read the objectives of the speech, please? Project three, the roast. Objectives, poke fun at a particular individual in a good-natured way. <laughs> Adapt and personalize humorous material from other sources. Deliver jokes and humorous stories effectively. Time is three to five minutes, but as Neil said, it's over. Marsha Wood, Kevin's Roast. Marsha Wood. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, we are here today to take part in a roast of Kevin. What a wonderful man he is. And we are also making sure that we don't miss the fact that you have gone halfway through your competent communicator manual. He joined Jackson Keynoters in October of 2012 and he gave his icebreaker speech the very next month. Then he took a year to finish his next three speeches. <laughs> and his fifth speech was in January of this year. A year and a half for five speeches. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> well, if you work really hard at it, you can beat Phil Wright's record of five years <laughs> for your ten speeches. Unfortunately, I don't think Kevin or any man knows what hard work is. No. <laughs> Birthing babies. That's hard work. And speaking of which, Ioana, our member, had her baby last week. Oh, cool. Yay. June 12th, she had a girl, 7 pounds, 11 ounces, 19 inches long, and they named her Alexandra. Now, that is a name for a queen or a princess, don't you think? And Kevin knows all about queens and princesses. <laughs> he visited the Queen of England, and he got Princess Kate's autograph. <laughs> he even learned from Queen Elizabeth how to kiss a baby. Auf Wiedersehen, <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about Kevin's daily <laughs> routine. In the morning, after he's done <laughs> pumping iron, <laughs> pumping iron, <laughs> he eats three hard-boiled eggs every day. And he prefers them without carpet lint. <laughs> 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 One day, he lost track and he ate a whole half dozen of eggs. And he entertained his co-workers mightily by doing the chicken dance. <laughs> and then he proceeded to do some cheers. <laughs> and backflips. Because <laughs> he was a cheerleader at CU. Very decorated. I'm sure. <laughs> Awards galore? Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to bring them in and show us. Oh. Kevin is a Francophile. No, that doesn't mean that he likes hot dogs. <laughs> it means that he loves the French people, the French culture, the French history. Has anyone here tried to evaluate him on any of his speeches? His manuals are in French. Parlez-vous français? Yes. <laughs> Kevin once told me that he really admired Napoleon, and he really wanted to be Napoleon. And you can insert your short joke here, right. whatever's your favorite. <laughs> Uh, 
But speaking of dictators, <laughs> did you know that Kevin's disc profile, the highest score was the D, that stands for demanding and decisive. It also stands for domineering, dictator, and diva. <laughs> <coughs> and have you ever noticed his wardrobe? He wears the <laughs> brightest pants I've ever seen. Hello, Kevin. The great pumpkin called. He wants his wardrobe back. <laughs> <laughs> I swear he does <laughs> Now, he did not wear them for us today, but I have a picture. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> this is at the Metro Division contest in the springtime. Bright green neon pants. He lost the first place to a drably dressed ukulele salesman. <laughs> Seriously. So I had to bring this in to show you. I also brought something else in. <laughs> Did you see all the trophies at his desk? He has many trophies. He did win that beautiful second place trophy. But I have made another trophy for you. <laughs> and I want you to keep it <laughs> with your other trophies on your desk. <laughs> Here you go, Kevin. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Man, well, I would like to open it up for the next couple of minutes. If anybody else has any um, roasts of Kevin they would like to share, we would be so excited to hear them. Neil? I just have one thing to say. Well, then does Kevin get to say something like most roasts? <laughs> Kevin made my girlfriend jealous because his uh, Louis Vuitton purse is nicer. <laughs> do, do we leave you any shred of dignity? Uh, yeah, you guys left a lot on the table. Uh, <laughs> tell, tell, tell us. Tell us about it. Oh. Does anyone else have can anything I, else? Can I do one more? You sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the only person that looks more nervous than Kevin in this room are his uh, top two buttons. <laughs> Does anybody else have any comments they would like to share? Lindsay, come on up. Okay. So I used to be the store manager at Abercrombie Kids before I came to Jackson. <laughs> That polo's from our spring collection. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, that was great, you guys. Really a lot of fun. Usually on table topics, there's a set topic, and people can go from there. But you're free on it. Abercrombie Kids, you think you know your merchandise. <laughs> Clearly, my shirt is Lululemon from last fall. <laughs> Not Abercrombie Kids. I'll we'll let it slide. <laughs> Thank you. Marsha was right. I don't know if this is a rebuttal, but there was a, there was one time where I was eating eggs, so I went to go get my eggs out of the fridge, and there was a nice little note posted right there on my cup of eggs that said, hey, just wanted to let you know that you should eat these at your own caution. 
when you turned over the Sikino, it said, I accidentally dropped these all on the floor, <laughs> but I think I washed them off pretty good from you. <laughs> no one let me know who it was, but I was really hungry, so I still continued to eat. <laughs> you gotta get the protein in. <laughs>